In this short video tutorial, I wish to discuss a few more important concepts related with the for loop. So let's write a small program to see what those uh, important concepts related to the for loop are. So I've created the main function and I've declared a variable a and I've given it a value 0. So as discussed in the very first video in which we spoke about the for loop, there are three parts in the when we create a for loop, there are three parts. One is the uh, one is the initial value part wherein we give the initial value to the variable. Then there is the condition part wherein we check the condition of that variable and then there is the increment or the decrement part. So where we increase or decrease the value of that variable. Now what you need to understand is that you can skip any of these three parts and still you can make the for loop function. So let me first skip the first part. So because we have already given an initial value 0 to the variable a, so I don't have to give that initial value to variable a again. So I'll skip this part. I will only write the condition which is a less than 10 and then I will increase or decrease the value of a by 1 and I will print the value of a using the printf statement. So over here notice that we have skipped the first part because we have already initialized the value of a to 0 outside the for loop. So if I run this program you will notice that we have printed numbers from 0 till 9 by making use of this for loop. So even that we have skipped the first part which is the which is the uh, giving the initial value to the variable still the for loop functions properly. Now let's see if we can skip the this third part also which is the increment and the decrement operation. So I will have to increase or decrease the value of a because if I don't increase or decrease the value this loop will never end because the value of a will not change. So I have skipped this part and I have increased the value of a by 1 inside the body of the for loop. So I have written this operation here and I have skipped it from this part. So let's run this program and see the output. Notice that still we have printed numbers from 0 till 9 although we have skipped the first and the second part. Now I can also skip the third part but for this I will have to make use of the break statement which we will discuss in the coming tutorials. So once I teach you about the break statement then I will show you that we can also skip this third uh, this this middle part and still the for loop will run. So in this video I wanted you to understand that there are three parts in the for loop and we can skip these parts and perform that same operation somewhere else and still the for loop will give us the same results. So I hope that you have understood this very simple concept about the for loop. So we'll end our short tutorial here. To access our complete C programming course, please visit openeschool.com slash learn C. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the new videos that we post.